Soulja <laughs> Boy take one. You! In a world where music and technology constantly collide, who would have known that a young tech-savvy team from the South would help pioneer hip-hop into the digital age? And that young gentleman goes by the name of Soulja Boy. Raised in Atlanta by way of Chicago, DeAndre Cortez Way, known as Soulja Boy, was a teenager with a passion for both music and technology. At age 14, the young rapper started experimenting with music production software on his computer, posting his songs on platforms like YouTube and MySpace, laying the foundation for his future chart-topping hits. In 2007, Soulja Boy recorded Crank That, and followed the release up with a low-budget music video and accompanying dance. And YouTube, bro, he was, he was on YouTube before YouTube was like a thing. Recognizing the power of emerging platforms, Soulja Boy harnessed the potential of YouTube as a launch pad for his music. Soulja Boy uploaded Crank That to the platform and the video set the internet on fire almost instantly, garnering millions of views in what felt like overnight. You! Soulja Boy, so. Now I got this dance called the Soulja Boy. That was a great era, man. Soulja Boy. Oh, watch it, crank. Don't put that in there. <laughs> crank That wasn't just a YouTube sensation either. The song stormed the Billboard Hot 100, securing the number one spot for several weeks. This achievement marked a turning point in the industry, demonstrating that artists could leverage the internet to attain mainstream recognition and chart-topping success. I mean, in space, I'm performing a lot of night. Me and Kanye West on the same stage. We're gonna crank the soldier, but Superman. It's crazy right now, number one song in the country. As Soulja Boy's influence soared, his presence became intertwined with popular culture. His Superman dance became more than a viral trend. It transcended into TV shows like Entourage and The Office, proving that he wasn't just a musician, but a cultural icon. The vibes, the dances, Nah, yo, it was different, bro. Beyond his prowess in the digital realm, Soulja Boy capitalized on the mobile revolution of the mid-2000s. The iconic Crank That Dance craze was accompanied by a ringtone that rapidly climbed the sales chart. This contributed to Soulja Boy's rise as not just a musician, but a tech-savvy entrepreneur. He didn't limit his innovative spirit to just music. He ventured into the world of technology and gaming creating a gaming empire that turned heads and made waves. 2018, Soldier Boy launched his own line of gaming consoles, the Soldier Game Series. These consoles allow players to access a library of built-in games and even download additional titles. Not stopping at consoles, Soldier Boy expanded his gaming business by releasing handheld gaming devices. Soldier Boy's gaming venture wasn't without controversy and mixed reviews. He was praised for his bold business mind, but his consoles faced criticism Despite the setbacks and legal challenges, Soulja Boy showcased the same resilience we've seen throughout his career. He rebranded his gaming products, attempting to comply with legal regulations while still offering affordable gaming options to his fans. Soulja Boy's gaming ventures, while met with challenges, showcase his determination to diversify and innovate. He remains an artist who isn't content with the status quo. Today, as we bask in the nostalgia of his music and embrace his latest endeavors, Soldier Boy's legacy remains unshakable. His innovative spirit and fusion of music and technology continue to inspire a new generation of artists and creators. Soldier Boy, the visionary who dared to dream beyond the confines of convention, has forever etched his name in the annals of music and technology history. Man, big shout out to Soldier Boy. He, he just brings a huge smile to my face. What he brings to the game and his energy is unmatched. Uh, he's definitely an innovator. Uh, he's definitely still got people cranking that to this day. So salute to Soldier Boy. Drake? <laughs>